I've been saying for, for years, I, I need to formulate it properly. I'm convinced there's a relationship between codependency and drug use, alcohol use and, and overeating. There's, there, there's, there's something to that. And I think it's about uh, safety and emotional regulation. So if you're getting really... It's emotional regulation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be right. It's the pain. You've got that core pain, which is yeah. the addiction to... Yeah. That, the, that yeah. validation, which is codependency. Yeah. Yeah. And you use all these other stuff yeah, to yeah. just... And food's a tough one. I I, I kicked a, I, I kicked a proper cocaine addiction when I was about twenty eight, right before I met Lawrence. Actually, Lawrence Kenwright. Uh, that's why I met him in uh, over in Tenerife. And um, people were like, "Wow, how did you do that?" And I was like, "I stopped taking beef." <laughs> Was how I would did it, and all the names on my phone that would have asked me to snort with them or sell them. So I just went, "Click, you're all gone, done." Food though. Food's hard. You gotta eat every day. <laughs> and it's it's so easy to it's eat. It's self harm. It is like, I think I think well, I know we have a belief of who we are and where we belong or what we're told we are. Mm. So I was always gonna put that weight back on. I was always gonna put that weight back on because that's not me. Because right. I don't allow myself to be him. Do you know what I mean? I'm meant to be overweight, I'm meant to be not good enough, because that's my core belief of myself. That's like, um, there was a guy in the 40s, he was a plastic surgeon, American, Ma Maxwell Maltz. He wrote a book called psycho -Cybernetics. and And he wrote it, he came up with this whole theory because he'd give women plastic surgery to make themselves feel beautiful. And 99% of them still felt ugly. The nose is smaller, the eyes are smaller. And he was like, you have a version of yourself in your head. Yeah. And if you're not matched to that, you'll just keep going back to it. You have to change that internalized version that you've got of yourself. That's exactly it. Richard, I had, I had a lot of money in the, more money than I've ever had in my life. From the, from the shop doing well. No, just, I just, I come into it with the show. I had, I had quite a few Bob. Yeah. Spent it all. Because you weren't, you didn't feel you deserved it. I don't it. deserve to have that. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. And that's it. Yeah. And with, you know, recently I've just learned so much about myself and I understand why. Because mm. I, I really, really believe. I'll never get into a toxic relationship again. Mm. I believe once I do this transformation, I'll never have to do it again. And my money in the bank is just going to go up. I have absolutely, and I'm working on changing on my belief of myself. Yeah. And it's my low self-esteem and my lack of self-worth. That's, that's what has really sailed my ship in fantastic situations, but also shit ones. I've had some massive highs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Would you so right now, uh, you're you've begun the process of of the transformation again. You're back in training yeah. and you're back dieting again. But when I when I was in great shape, I was fucking. I was miserable. I Were was you? depressed. Were you really after the show? Well, yeah, after the show, I was depressed because I'd I'd split up with a girl. I'd met a girl. Oh, out, out, which was I thought was pretty healthy. But I went to Bali to celebrate my show. Yeah. Was good, yeah. and then she fucked me off after four days. I flew over to Bali to fix it. No, so did you went to Bali without her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I was going anyway, but I felt yeah. quite safe and secure. Yeah, yeah. And then she she ended it for some reason. Yeah. And then she come back. I come back. I flew back after three days, four days. She picked me up from the airport, took her to hers, yeah. gave her a present. She went, I'm going to Aldi now, so you best go. And that was it. I flew home from Bali to see her, but that was fucking stupid am I? Do you know what I mean? But that was me, my codependency. It was my biggest fear. I had loads of money in the bank, great body, but I didn't want to lose that girl because that light inside yeah. needed to be lit. Well, I, I, it's not a therapy session, but if it was, John, I would yes. I would challenge you there. I would say it's not stupid. I think what you did was good. It was loyal. It was what people do when they're... Presumably you told each other you loved each other. Yeah. Presumably you had plans to be together. I, well, I, yeah. Yeah. So you're not a knobhead for... Like, there's a real investment there. You're not... A, you're not I don't think it's, in hindsight, I could sit here and go, lads, you don't do that no, with I the birds, you got to fuck them off. And, but it, was it stupid? I think it was, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm in Bali, thousands and thousands of miles away. It's and this hard girl, to get to Bali as well. It is it? pretty you've hard, got to yeah. Drive, you've got to go to Singapore and then down. You can't go direct, can you? No, you go to, I think you go to Bangkok. somewhere in the Middle East. Or yeah. Then oh, yeah, do Dubai there. and down you can do. But it's this girl said... Anyway. Um, she told me the day before how much she was fucking in love with me. And then she just discards me like that. And I flew home. And I shouldn't have. Because what, was she worth me flying home for? Because if someone really loved me, they wouldn't have told me while I'm on the other side of the world. How, how old were you when this happened? 38. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I hear you. you. know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I do. But I wouldn't you. do it. I wouldn't do that. So after this transformation. We'll see what they say in the comments about that. Yeah, I think, see what I they think, say. I think, I think a, lot, a lot of people... I know it's dead romantic, but it's the fairy tale, isn't it? Does it exist? <laughs> you sound more bitter than me. This is the first one I spoke to is more bitter than me. Makes me feel good. Um, yeah, no, kill your dreams. But here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. So I'm doing this transformation now. Yeah. And in October, I'm going to Bali. And I am going to... And it, he doesn't that. give a fuck who rings him. Yeah. He's fucking staying. Because no one will have me. <laughs> I might burst in your mic there. I'm going to Bali and I I am going to do that. What I, I'm going to fulfill that. Because <laughs> 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 no one will have me. Love it.